on the planet at the moment, I've been noticing certain things, it's considering I live in a developed world. And um, I do speak to a lot of people all over the world. And I'm noticing there's, there's, there's a fear related to parents' children. And um, I've tried to work it out as to why this fear is, because when we were all younger, especially when, you know, back in the 80s growing up, um, there was more freedom. And I do understand that there's more connectivity via the internet and mobile phones and so forth. But um, kids aren't allowed to go out and investigate and see the world for themselves, go into nature. There's a term that I've been coining for a while, me and Jackie Stone, my producer, have spoken about this, um, concerning, uh, related to a, a theory of ours which we call child worship. And um, although all these people online will stipulate that they're about love and, and love is about being liberal and free and, and open to all sorts of ideas and concepts, the, the amount of fear that's been integrated into the family life is, is ridiculous. It's, it's beyond a joke. It's, um, it's actually very annoying. Uh, and, and not many people will see it. Uh, it seems like parents are, are vi vying for position of who can be scared the most. Um, kids aren't allowed to, to get, on a, get on a train with a bike and go into town or ride around because everybody's scared. And listen, people, um, mainstream media's job is to sell fear to us, okay? So every time there's an incident on, 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 in your city, in the, on the planet, we, due to 24-hour news, we all get to see it. But it does, if, you take, if you take the statistics into account, you'll realise that those things that occur on your, on your local news or international news are very rare. So if you're falling for it and sitting at home and, and watching mainstream TV and going, oh, don't go there, be careful about that, oh, look out for the terrorists, you know, disgraceful. And anyway, who are the terrorists, you know? We all know who the real terrorists are. They're, they're those people in government in, in developed countries like uh, America, Australia, Canada, European nations like England, Germany, France, you know. Uh, I've stipulated before about the Davistock Institute and how its inception in the 20s was all about uh, controlling the masses, you know. You know, MK Ultra mind control, uh, any, any, any mind control you want to talk about. But uh, the, the amount of fear that's been put into, into um, our children today, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, luckily enough, um, the kids today are more mature. They've sort of like, especially the, the indigo children and, and those who are around about the 10, 12, even eight, eight year old mark. Um, and they're, and they're, spiritual, they're, more, they're spiritual enough to understand that this is just parents, you know, being over, overburdening. Um, fear is something that should be stopped at home. You know, if you want to, if you want to see a, a future where love rules, okay. And yeah, yeah, we hear all the love and light, you know, brigade and all this. And, but I know what, what I'm talking about is common sense. It's, it's, it's as if, um, parents have lost, have lost the whole concept of common sense, It's best that um, families sit down and 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 allow some some parameters for, the, for for some protocols where the kids can actually get back to nature. Because there was a study also done just recently in Australia where they were um, purveying a school for the amount of nature in the school, how many trees, how much green grass, compared to other schools that had a lot of concrete and a lot of um, um, man-made um, substances. And they found that um, the, the kids that had big playgrounds with massive trees and a lot of fauna and uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of bush and grass and stuff like that, well, after they came in class after recess, they were more focused. And this study has just been, just been, um, just been um, done um, by Sydney University 
And uh, there's actually a move now in schools to have children um, go out and play on the logs, climb a tree. Do you know that this is the other interesting thing, that apparently only one out of every four children in Australia under the age of 12 have climbed a tree. That, you know, that, that, that's just ridiculous. That tells you, that tells you what I'm actually, you know, leading towards, you know. Um, it's, it's about time parents woke up and um, started getting their kids back to nature. Yes, we all say we've got to go back to nature so we can all um, recharge and so forth. Well, how about allowing your kids to do so?